Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today on your daily startup, I'd like to share with you a little bit about how to actually solve problems. You know, every day we encounter problems in our life, in our business, our relationship, the things we do daily. But how do you actually approach those problems and get them solved? On this video, I'll be sharing with you how. Hello friend, this is the voice of Ademola. Hello friend, you see, it is inevitable that we are going to run into problems one way or the other, right? I mean, unless you are not trying to do anything new, unless you are not interested in growth, unless you are not trying to forge ahead at all, then we can, you know, agree that you probably won't run into problems. Even if you are not doing anything, I'm sure a problem will still pop up, right? I mean, that's just the way it is. Some people said, someone said um, that whatever can go wrong will eventually go wrong, isn't it? So problems pop up everywhere, but our default response to problems is just wrong, right? Because most of the times when problems pops up, what we do is we complain about it, we cry about it, you know, uh, we just, you know, just go online, start checking for videos and things like that. Then you do trial and error, like, okay, fine, a problem has come up, ah, what, do I, what, do I, what do I do? So just try something, okay, didn't work, you know, and that's what we now call experience, right? Like, you are learning from your own experience. So at the end of the day, it's been six months and you've you've tried maybe three or four approaches that did not work, like they did not work. And the problem is still there, you know, staring at you in the face. So sooner or later, you either give up on the problem and so you shrink back to all you're doing. Like you're trying to figure out how do I take my business to the next level? How do I improve my memory? How do I become more creative? How do I become more business savvy? Whatever it is you're trying to figure out, then you've tried and tried and it's not working so you go back to what you were doing before which is you know a total waste isn't it <laughs> but yeah let's consider for a moment like how do you actually you know solve problems how do you actually forge ahead in your life and things like that i think it comes down to first and foremost we have to understand the importance of books okay i think books are you know underrated okay books we underrate books a lot we underrate books a lot I believe that books are powerful and honestly i believe that books are too cheap when you compare the kind of impact a good book can have in your life right like books are just too cheap you have an expert someone might have might have spent his whole life right out there doing some research trying to find out what is the best way to achieve this thing what's the best way to go from here to there and after all that research after all that lifetime and experiences after their 20 year research 10 year research they now come back down put into a single book and they offer you that book at a ridiculously low price i mean if you consider the amount of life that goes into producing one good book no, there is no amount of money that can justify the effort that goes into it that's the truth of the matter right and those books are out there so when you say you have a problem i think one one question we should ask you is okay fine you have a problem how many books have you read about you know around that that problem in the last 90 days for example oh is your answer zero <laughs> then is it really a problem you understand like there are so many books out there that you could actually read about that thing you're struggling with you know a friend of mine once said something interesting he said there are so many people out there that are going about with a problem that could be solved with a two thousand naira book like two thousand naira to buy a book read the book go to what the book says and boom problem solved but many people would rather do trial and error would rather cry about it complain about it going online to rant about the problem rather than sit down and buy a good book one good book that addresses the problem and will solve the problem for you so i believe that books are very cheap i believe that books are underrated i believe that we don't appreciate books enough and books contain a wealth of knowledge that could make the difference in your life right now and the other thing to do moving a step further from books now of course is to seek guidance right i mean the, the chances that you are the first person to encounter that problem is close to zero the chances that you'll be the last person to encounter that problem is close to zero isn't it so there's always somebody out there there's always there are always people out there that have gone through what you are going through right now and they've emerged on the other side right and a lot of them will be more than willing to step back to help you through the process as well i believe so much in the role of mentors coaches experts right i mean when think about it when you hire an expert when you hire a coach somebody to guide you someone to feed you with knowledge and wisdom to help you solve your problems 
you're only going to cry once, <laughs> okay? But if you insist that you don't want to, you want to um, pay an expert, you don't want to have it to do with coaches and all that, what's going to happen is that you'll be left to learn from your own experiences. And for someone that has a long journey, if you have a long way to go, you know, you agree with me that it makes sense for us to try to cut down some time, isn't it? So if I'm going to sit down with an expert and this madam has 20 years experience in what she does and in a simple conversation with her, I get to leverage her 20 years experience. Wow, 20 years. So I don't need to spend the next 20 years on trial and error trying to figure out what is working, what is not working. I don't know any of that. All I have to do now is to sit down with an expert, sit down with a coach, sit down with somebody that has done what I'm trying to do. The person has done it before, the person has done it over and over and over and over again. And all I have to do is to just sit down with them and leverage their wisdom. I think that beats whatever amount of money they are placing on their time, on the value that we are going to exchange on such a platform. Okay? So if you are really interested in solving your problems, I think that is what you want to do. But you know the interesting thing, from experience, I've also learned that a lot of us would rather cry and whine about problems rather than sit up and get them solved. So I hope you are serious about solving whatever problems you are dealing with at the moment. If you are not serious about it, well, you can keep crying and whining about it. But if you want to solve those problems, I'm sure you might have gotten one or two ideas on this video. Why don't you repeat after me this morning? Say, God daily loads me with benefits. I am bold and strong. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. My name is Ademola Murebiche. Thank you so much for taking our time to check out this video. Remember, you can lead a formidable life. Have a great day.